I think it's a very critical thought process in your mind as an investor. So for me, it generally goes from high quality, so people's perception of this is a high quality business, so which means it's, uh, it's well owned, it's well held, it's, it's gonna protect you at night. Um, the risk is you do fall in love with that kind of psychology that it's a high quality business. So when that does decline, I think you do need to assess whether it's actually the thesis is broken. Um, so usually it's, it's uh, competition, uh, management complacency or much higher capex and therefore much lower returns. If those one of those three things are very prevalent, I think you really need to assess whether that's uh, it's probably more permanent than you'd like to believe uh, in my view. If it is just high expectations only and the returns have pretty much remained the same, management complacency is not there, competition is not there and no nothing else has changed, then I think it's it's much more likely to be transient. So for me, it's still a high quality business, just evaluations getting rechecked. And eventually, um, when the company does deliver another earnings result, whether it's one or two earnings results, and the market proves they have operational momentum, and just evaluation got a bit of ahead of itself, and it needs to grow into its multiple, that is, that is the definition of, of, of transient um, movement of the share price in a long structural story. And we've seen that if you look at Domino's Pizza or REA, which are stories over 10 years, of, or JB Hi-Fi, are up 10 or 20 or 30 times over a 10 year period. It's not just a straight line. You do get periods where the valuation is uncertain or the valuation gets rechecked down until the company delivers earnings results you know, over a few more halves. Um, but those, yeah, if you can find those big structural winners um, and those wonderful companies that continue to be ahead of their competitors, have high integrity, um, high sustainability, high returns, high growth, and lead the market, they can be 10 baggers or 20 baggers over a 10 year period. And that's what, as it, for me running the Future Leaders Fund, that's what I spend my life trying to find. Um, and if you do find that movement in one of those structural winners, that is an amazing opportunity to go back and buy those businesses. Aconex is one where I do think it is transient. So that was a stock that got to a very expensive multiple. So 120 times price to earnings ratio, um, or EV to sales of um, earnings, you know, EV to sales of like sixes, six and sevens. Um, that's an incredibly high valuation. But this is a company that has been built by the founders. It's their baby over a 10 year period. They're still big shareholders in the company. Um, They've made success in America, they've made success in Australia, they're making success in Asia. The people they've signed up is, is a phenomenal list of clients. Um, they're now just at the stage where they're monetizing what they've built. Um, so for me, if you look at Google, Facebook and Amazon, they basically build the functionality in a technology, then you build the network as in put the customers in connection with each other and you build the network effect and then you start to monetize it. And for me, Aconex is that just at the end of that stage two phase where they're building the whole network. They've got you know the Chinese builders, Australian builders, American builders, and they're building a huge network um, of of and it's become the the go to product to use for the building industry itself and be and it is a real industry leader. So for me, that share price coming off twenty five percent in the reporting season is a great opportunity to go and buy some more. Um, and for me, that's one that I think that has a very you know fa a fabulous outlook um, and looks. You know, similar to what I mentioned, Ramsey, um, Ramsey Healthcare, James Hardy, Sydney Airports, Domino's Pizza, JB Hi-Fi, these kind of future leaders that become the large caps of tomorrow. Um, it looks, you know, it fits that bill, um, you know, quite well. So for me, that is a great opportunity to go back and buy high quality business.